Hello, wonderful, amazing video game type people, and welcome back to Antherion. Alright, last time when we left off, we tried to fight the Butcher, and it failed. Not that miserably. I mean, it failed, but I wouldn't call it failing miserably. Ooh, we found arrows. Okay, so, actually, since then, I've spent a little bit of time reading on the forums, and I'll tell you what I've discovered. Oop. Basically, one thing that interests me is foraging. Determines how plentiful and powerful some of the items you find are. Your party's highest foraging skill is automatically used. Clearly, I've made a mistake because I'm not teaching anyone foraging when I really obviously should be. I think barter is something that I really need to I need to push barter. I need to push foraging. So, not quite sure who's going to be our forager. But uh, maybe the persuasion guy. I don't know. I generally like persuasion. I generally like lock picking. I like the problem is I like all of these things. So, right. Okay. If I hit M, does that? Oh, that just turns that off. Okay. But we can. No, we can't zoom out. Oh well. So it's kind of a challenge because I like all the things, but I definitely after after reading about how powerful foraging can be, and obviously lock picking. These are things that I need to uh, develop. Lockpicking, foraging, barter. Persuasion's really the only one that could go, but that's very counter to how I usually play games. I usually like having a diplomatic character. So I think it's a really good, uh, good job on their part for making all the skills useful enough, and, you know, potentially for making five skills five of these useful non-combat skills when, uh, I guess it's empty, yeah, you know, when there are only four players. I thought we would get a fight. Alright. So, oh, I'm going to hit V, there we go, that's nice, X, yeah, oh, not bad. We're definitely going to go up and purchase more arrows before we attack the uh, that guy. And of course just armor in general. Ooh, mama. Oh, come on, guys. Step up your game, son. I'm going to switch back to the cane. Whoa. Just kidding. I always think that I'm not using the cane when I attack. I need to actually pay more attention. Alright. How's Theseus? Okay. Do we wanna... I guess we do. Oh. I'm not gonna waste your hit on that. There we go. Um. It might be possible that she can... Oh! Bummer. That was rough. Ooh, missed Spartacus. Okay. Uh. Oh. Yeah. No, we're we're kind of getting roughed up here. Okay, we're gonna switch places with you. Oh. Um. Oh my. Woohoo! Okay, that was pretty good. Thank you. That's nice. Take that shot. Oh, you're out of arrows. Alright, that's fine. Not very high damage, I'm afraid, but damage nonetheless. Mm. They tend to attack the wolf kid. I really do wonder about that. Oh no. I do so hate when the spells fail. I, I wonder what determines that. Oh, I guess there it is. It says 78% chance. Okay, obviously that's why the spell's failing. Man, I've been a little bit unobservant. Okay. Nothing from the dead bodies. That's okay. 
heart bulb. Ah, uh, no, we don't need garbage. And you can tell that the garbage is in that one because you can see it's it's grayed out, grayed out, brown. Nope. Hey, we don't need the skulls, but I'll take the lizard tail and the gold. All right. That was pretty awesome. How are we doing for experience? Not bad. 100 experience away. Okay. How are we doing for gold? 421. Okay. Again, not bad. I should probably rest them. Um, let's just do a little healing. Let's quick save. I think we can survive a fight. There doesn't seem to be any serious penalty to losing one of your guys, which is which is understandable. Otherwise, it would just be a case for loading every time you lost a guy. And games used to be like that, and there's certainly nothing wrong with that. Whoa, what kind of rat are we up against here? Another blind rat. Huh. Right, I need to pass the arrows over to her Amazon. Huh? Okay, so given the choice between those three, the rat would attack the wolf skin. Now, one of these days, based on enough evidence, I will figure out what determines who gets attacked. Maybe it's the armor. Maybe they just naturally go for whoever has the most armor. Alright. Nope. Okay. Okay, yeah, we really do need to rest. That's that's a thing. There's no choice about that anymore. Theseus picked up items. Uh, yeah, okay. We'll hit R. We can happily rest for two hours. <sighs> Love that sound. Okay. Right. Torch. It's a bummer we can't light torches, you know? That would be pretty cool. That's okay. Hey, locked eight. I think we can. Oh, lockpick removed from inventory. That's kind of nice. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, good. Good, good, good. That is nice. Okay, so lockpicking clearly worth it. I certainly like the way that works with the skill. Oh, look at that. Hopefully nothing too dangerous. <laughs> That's, yes, of course. Naturally, I'm gonna... Look at these holes. What happens if I put rocks on those holes? Does it matter? Oh, Hunter's Boots. Plus three to archery. You bet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and give you those Hunter's Boots. That's so cool. See, that's exactly it. That is really cool. I'm, I'm loving the game for that. That was my original thing. The the Exile games were amazing because they had tons of secrets everywhere. And finding a secret felt great because there was always some kind of special item payoff. Right? And that was... I'm one of those people who loves that. I love finding secrets. Oh, the torch burnt out. I just... It was it was just great. There we go. Ta -da. Let's just pass some arrows over. Yeah, no. We really need to... We're going to have to get more arrows. One thing I'm not sure about, but I'm a little bit worried, is I hope that the arrows in the stores replenish themselves. I have this feeling like they don't. I think once items are bought, they don't replenish themselves. Maybe that hasn't been done in the game yet. I hope at some point they do that. Especially with consumables like arrows. Apparently they've, they've added more arrows. Maybe the arrows, who knows, maybe shops restock every couple days or something. That, that actually makes more sense. Because obviously they wouldn't not have the consumables restock. But apparently there was one patch where they doubled the amount of arrows in the early game because there weren't enough arrows. So that's a thing. Now, it looks to me like we've mostly explored this place. With the exception of, of really one thing. And that's going to be our, our butcher friend. Yeah, take a look. Yeah, okay. 
Yeah, no, this looks good. Maybe there's one or more secret. There might be another secret somewhere, for sure. I guess we do need lore to find the secrets. No secret? There we go. I'm going to use WASD to move. Just so I can keep my uh, my mouse pointed at the walls. Just in case I should find a secret. We're going to have to come back for that chest. Absolutely. Okay. So now we need to leave the sewers. Get some new equipment. Come back here, kill the butcher. Okay, I think I'm going the right way. I think. Yeah, the sewers are pretty big. Huh. Oh. Fancy that. Okay, there we go. And we're party members must be adjacent to one another. Thanks. Hey, hey, come on. Up you go. All right. Oh, nope. I didn't want that. Oh, they're all standing on top of each other. Okay. Put the torch away. Right now it is. I believe it's morning. Let's talk to this guy, girl, Hera. Hello there. What do you do around here for fun? I can tell you what I don't do. I stay as far away from the seaside tavern as possible. It's a rat's den full of the slimiest clientele you've ever seen. Late at night, these drunken fools awaken me by banging on my doors and windows. And don't even get me started on what's go what it's doing to the property values around here. That's good. That means it's going to be cheap to buy a house. Uh, w how do you make a living? I'm Astralin's one and only real estate agent. Oh, do you have any properties for sale? I do. In fact, the house just to the southeast of here with the sign with the for sale sign is on the market for 665 gold. It's a terrific little starter home. I really think you'll love it. Um, yeah, we can't afford that at the moment. It'll probably be gone by the time that you can, but wouldn't hurt to come back here and check when you run into some gold. All right, so Hera's the one who will sell us the deed to that house. That's kind of nice. Um, Silver Spoon Inn. Hello, Luna. Um, yeah, barters. Sextant. Ring. Oh, arrows. Yeah, tons of arrows. Okay, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, buy. Goodness. Can I just type it in? No, I cannot. Okay. What happens if I... No, I guess I'll just do it manually. That's cool, too. Or oh, right click. Oh, hey. Right clicking works pretty well. That's nice. Okay, let's get a hundred arrows. Because why not? Yes. For 100 gold, you bet. Thank you. Uh, no, I'll take all of it, please. <laughs> oh, no. What are you doing? No. Oh, I thought I wanted to sell. No, I don't want to do that. I'm not crazy. Huh. Okay, weak healing potion. Kind of expensive. Kind of expensive. Not going to lie. I would love the recipe, but again, that's going to require that we have somebody with herbalism. It would be nice to get herbalism, but I don't think we're going to get that anytime soon. So, with that in mind, now we can... Yeah, there we go. Move the arrows on over. Bye -bye. Oh, it's nice. They don't weigh anything. That's pleasant. I'm glad they chose to do that. Now, what's this? What's this, then? This is the armory. Right, this is probably what we want. Okay. Listen up, Darren. I need some items for my folks here. Oh, gosh, you're... You're a pricey little bugger, aren't you? Helm of Strength certainly seems nice. Okay, well, let's sell you some things. Ooh. Face mask. Oh! Hold on. No, we'll keep the face mask. Do you want the history of Frostford? No, we'll sell that at the bookstore. I don't know if it makes a difference, but we'll find out when we try to sell it at the bookstore. Um, 
Right, we definitely don't need the leather sandals, so you can have that. Oh, the damaged short bow. Yeah, no, we don't need that. Go ahead. A crooked staff. I think we might have too many crooked staffs. Staves, staffs, I don't know. Yeah, go ahead. Besides, it's crooked. I don't want a staff that's crooked. I want a staff that's straight. <laughs> Rusty Saber, two-handed damage, 11. Let's go ahead and compare. Huh. Interesting. 7, 11. You know what? It's the rust is what it is. I'm telling you. That rust. Also, it does actually look a little bit more menacing. I don't know how we... We don't need that skull. Feel free to have the skull. Um, oh, yeah, the common lead necklace. Boom, baby. Peasant outfit. No, we don't need that. I think. Maybe we needed it. I don't know. Oh, the steel mug. Yes, please. How much? Is that a weapon? One-handed weapon, six. Wow. You're telling me the steel mug does more damage than the short sword? Oh, you're kidding me. We should fight with the steel mug. Come on, tell me you've actually got something that's good in here. Old hatchet. Well, I mean, listen, if that's the case, we will happily fight with a steel mug. It's it's a one-handed weapon, and clearly, we should be fighting with it. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Bolt of cloth. Yes, please. We'll keep the face mask. The book. Right, we're going to find out if the book sells for anything different. So 32 here. We'll go to the bookstore, see what happens. Take the skull, please. Um, okay. We're going to call that good for now. Yeah, we're going to call that good. Enchanted chain mail. Ha! Huh. Armor 3. A little bit pricey. Let's go find out what that book sale. Do, do. I think you're the bookstore. Hey. It's late. Why don't you return tomorrow during business hours? Are you serious right now, bud? Jeez, what a guy. What a guy. Alright, let's go get a room. You guys suck. Give me a room. We'd like a bed. Sure, first door on the left. That's all. Da, da, da. All right. A little bit of role playing, I guess. Well, actually, it's not that bad of an idea. I mean, food costs money also. You awake, fully rested. Of course, we slept in one bed. All of us. All four of us. We're very close. Alright, let's... What do you got? Oh, an hourglass. No, it's okay. Hey there. What's your name? Astrid. Hi. Do you know what time it is? This is quite inappropriate. I must insist that you leave at once. Okay, sorry, Astrid. I didn't think it was that bad. It's only 6 a.m. I mean, come on. Rise and, si Rise and shine, folks. The world is waking up. Hey there. What can I do for you? Yeah, okay. Now we're going to find out about that book thing. Nope. It makes no difference. Okay, well, we can happily sell that book. History of Faustford. Tell me, how does one make a living selling books? An astute question indeed. I benefit from a demand side of deficiency. You see, in Antherion, there are quite a number of affluent scholarly types pumping out books after book, year after year. Unfortunately for these authors, there are very few actual buyers. Antherion's economy is based on farming and labor. The average Antherionite simply cannot read Antherionite. That's like a Vernite. So what happens then is that these authors pay me to stock their books. Wait, what? So you sh you sh you sell them shelf space knowing that their books won't sell? It's not quite as nefarious as you make it sound. You see, they purchase self shelf space so that they can... They then bring their kinsfolk in here to show off the fact that they've been published. It's something of a badge of honor across Antherion's small but very vocal erudite community. Why, just the other day I had a young elven woman in here trying to convince me to carry a vanity novel about her short and completely unnoteworthy life. Her book was so atrocious that you couldn't sell it at as a doorstop if in a free market. Nonetheless, this isn't a free market, and she has the coin, so I agreed to carry her abomination of a book. Uh, we'd like to buy some books. Okay, so where's her book? 
the history of Astril, Astralin, history of Antherion, the history of Astralin, history of Frostwood, maybe, who knows, anyways, doesn't matter, let's get out of the bookstore, okay, we still have some money, we'd like to get some armor, clearly we can't, Bigglesby's house, this is the for sale house, right, did we ever end up talking to this fella, the barkeep? He might have some jobs and rumors. Uh, th this is quite a place you've got here. Thanks. The Seaside Tavern could use a little fixing up, but you won't find a single tavern in all of Antherion that sits right up against the ocean like we do. Uh, what's new around here? I did overhear some customers talking about how four prisoners were seen leaving Shadowbrook not long after the massacre took place. Personally, I don't believe it. I don't think anyone could have made it out of there alive. Ha, 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 that's funny. Okay. What do you reveal map? Ooh. Gray magic seems ridiculously useful. Oh, I maybe I don't even want black magic. Maybe I just want gray magic. Which is crazy, because obviously black magic is gonna be super powerful in the late game, so I'm making a poor life choice. But gray magic just oh seems amazing. Okay, what do we got here? Nova Bloom, Tattered Shoes. Hatchet of Fortification. Again, that's not bad, but that damage. Let's go ahead and give you okay so instead of the short sword that does almost no damage we're gonna give you this shiny mug and we're gonna give the rusty sh saber to you okay so you get to fight with the rusty saber wow which looks absolutely terrifying okay and you get to fight with the steel mug which will no doubt look less terrifying but is fitting because we are currently in a tavern so there is that Lockpicks. Pass all the lockpicks over to our lovely lockpicking friend. Is this the? This is our lovely lockpicking friend, right? No. No, no, no. Aha. Okay. That'll do. Right. You have things that I like. Um. Yeah. Let's barter. Leather. Leather would give us armor one. We've already got armor one, but we'd also get lockpicking. Hood of thievery. Oh, Ring of Thievery. No armor on that. Oh, arrows. Lockpicks, many, of course. Locksmith boots. Armor one. Oh, we already get the armor one. We really just need helmets is kind of the vibe I'm getting. I think we can we can worry about the lockpicking later. But right now, I'm feeling the helmet industry. I just, I want my guys to have better armor than what they have right now. Okay. Oh, we got a farmer! Yay! What's that? The training hall! No, I don't think we need training. This is really what we need. Tell us about yourself. I'm a former mercenary turned tradesman. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, bud. <sighs> don't try to be too developed of a character now. The fighter's Helm. You know, the Fighter's Helm seems oddly good. Um, that one's only armor 1, this one's armor 2, so that makes me think that they're kind of randomized in their statistics. I'm going to get a fighter's helm. I'm going to get a fighter's helm. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and purchase that. Oops, nope, 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 don't sell it back. Okay, we've got the fighter's helm. Uh... Damn, it's short, but no, that I, sh I sold that to them. Um, a locksmith's mask. That looks wonderful. I should probably get that at some point. For some reason, the barbarian's rags are very good. Required level 7. Oh, that's the sneaky bit. Okay, we can't wear it yet. I see. Required level is something I have to actually pay attention to. Common cape? Absolutely. I need a common cape. Uh... Required level 1. Okay, required level 1 on that. Robe of Wisdom. No, no. Cape of Dex 35. 6. Oh, the required levels. Huh. Plus 3 white magic. We might be able to wear that soon, but not yet anyways. I could get a... Can I? I can't. I cannot. Okay, well what I will do... I think then is purchase 
Mm, another hundred, I think. Let's go ahead and do that. Purchase another hundred arrows. Whoop. Okay. And that should be good for now. Okay, so. Yeah, range damage three. <laughs> he should be fine. Here's your fighter's helm. Looking good, looking good. Common cape. Hey. Alright. That you can pass on down there. And also, you should pass your saber over to a Ramazon. Just, just in case. Or maybe... Uh, maybe the main... I don't know. I don't know. I think we'll be good with this, though. We've got a little bit more armor over here. So, armor two, one, three on the wooden buckle. He's actually he's doing pretty good for armor. You can see hit point spell class, fighter, wolfkin. Yeah. Oh, he's doing fine. Okay. Ta-da. What's over here? Oh, just stuff. Okay. Oh, you know what? We should probably get a potion or something. Let's try getting a potion. Just in case. We're killing that guy down there. Uh, we'd like to see your wares. I know I don't have a lot of money, but uh, surely... Can I sell the short sword? I don't want to. Wait, you don't sell potions? Wow. I did not expect that. It looks like you sell potions. There is a potion literally on the table. Why won't you sell me a potion? You are a horrible person. Well, that's fine then. Hey! There's a barrel. Oh, okay. Can we loot this place? Yeah, we can. Whoa, spoon. We don't need a spoon. That was somebody's war cry in a TV show I watched as a kid. Hey, there's a boat. Nope, no boating. I have to buy the boat first. Of course, of course I have to buy the boat. Okay. Let's go fight him. Let's go fight him. Give me that potion first. <laughs> Luna! I want a potion. A weak healing potion. For a hundred. You're insane. You're insane. A cure potion. No, we don't need that. Mana potion. Ugh. Okay. Forget the potions. We can do this. We can do this. I believe in us. I think I believe in us. <laughs> Whoa, party members must be adjacent. There we go. Okay. We're going to kill him with a mug. I hope he enjoys death by mug. Oh my gosh, it's a mugging. We're going to mug him. I wonder if that's what the game developers were thinking when they made the mug a weapon. That was better than a short sword. Oh. I made a mistake. Traveling through the sewers, yeah. This is my sewer song. I'm gonna sing it all day long. Okay. I actually just save this in Butcher. Okay, Butcher. This is going to be big. If we can actually beat this Butcher. Now, my thoughts on the matter. I think we're good. We've got a lot of arrows. We'll be able to shoot. Should be able to heal. We can stand back. I'm sure we'll, we'll get it to work somehow. So we come here. We say, hey. Hey. What's this way? Can I just can I just explore the whole room without talking to you? Oh, I guess I guess I can. Hey, undead zombie mage. Wow, you know, you have a really nasty place. It's nice of you to let me kind of wander, though. I definitely appreciate it. Okay, well here's the thing, dude. I'll talk to you in a sec, but uh, I me and me and the folks. We talked about it, and we decided we wanted to start combat around the undead zombie mage. Even though that leaves us open and very vulnerable. I don't know now. That's actually a fair point. We could try to shoot him 
This would make us really vulnerable. And yet, something about it is so, so tempting. Huh. Alright. Let's... Okay, let's actually try it from here. Oh. How close do we have to be to talk to you? That close? I think we have to be that close. That's insane. Okay, well, if that's the case, yeah, no, we're going to start around your mage. Screw you, bud. Oh. Now what is this? We're here to put an end to your life. We'll go with one. That was the wrong choice, I'm afraid. Oh. Why are you... Why are you going first? I didn't say you could go first. It somehow doesn't seem fair. Oh. One, two, yeah! Get him with the mug. Um. No, hit the butcher. Yeah! Oh, that was great. Okay. Um. Switch it up. Take that shot. Yes. Okay, he's done. Ah. You definitely need to heal someone. Who do we want to heal, though? The archer. Heal the archer. Slightly less health. And also kind of... Okay, good. They're scared. They're scared to attack us. Oh, good. Okay, we blocked. Fortune favors the bold. Hoi, yo, yo. Okay, everyone kill the butcher. If we can take out the butcher, I think we'll be good. Oh, ho, those hits. Okay. Move over here. Shoot across the steam. Yes. Okay, and you're good. You're very good. I'm not particularly worried about our Amazon. Good, 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 good. Okay. Don't hit. Oh! I said I wasn't worried about our Amazon. Can you... Yeah, you can totally move over, hey? Um, oh, there we go. I feel better about that. Oh, come on! You could have killed him! You could have killed him, you jerk. Alright, you need to run. Run the F away. Oh, this is not going to end well. Okay, well, you could take some hits. So move yourself into combat. Oh, no, you failed. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Ha! You got mugged, son. You got mugged. How do you like them apples, Mr. Butcher Man? Right, I think we might be able to do this. Oh, I hate that skull. That looks gnarly. Undead zombie. Okay, well, let's take out the one with way less health. And then we can focus on the others. Okay, you, clearly you need to heal somebody. Um, better if you heal him. Ramzon's probably not in any danger. Ooh. Okay, heal yourself next turn. Wow, good for you for still being alive. Boom! You got mugged. Okay. Okay, this is getting scary now. Please be able to heal yourself. Oh, thank you. Thank you, gods of luck and chance. Okay. You know what? Switch places. Boom. Very nice. Now run. Run away. Heal yourself. Okay. That was our last heal. Ooh, we might have done better to save it. Okay, nope, this is good. Okay, we have no more healing left. However, we can still shoot. Oh, and we got a miss. That is so perfect. Oh! Yes, Spartacus returns to life, and then we gain the experience points. Very nice. Good, I like that. Everyone's got the same amount of experience points. Let's see, we get an unidentified item. Oh, who's got the lore? One of us has lore. Oh, and, and look, there's tons of it. Okay. That was pretty awesome. That was that was pretty, pretty dang awesome. Human flesh, human ear. And we'll take the minotaur horn. I think we'll leave the human flesh from the zombie. We're good. All right, that was kind of awesome. We did okay. I 
think we're good to leave. We took out the butcher. He's crazy. He went crazy. You gotta watch that orc meat, folks. Okay, now obviously you're thinking, hey, are you gonna end the episode right now? And I'm thinking, yes, but first I'm gonna get some reward. Yeah. All that monies. All that monies. Ba 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 ba. Ba ba. I killed the butcher, yeah. I made the sewers clean again, yeah. No more children have to be eaten or turned into zombies. Because that's gross. Go up. Uh oh. It's evening. It's evening. Don't you think you're getting out of paying me just because it's late, you crazy person? Whew. Have you put the butcher to rest yet? The butcher won't be bothering Astral anymore. Job well done. I knew you could do it from the moment you first walked into my office. You had this gleam in your eye, a thirst for adventure. I reward you with 275 gold for your services. Thank you. No, thank you. You have done a great service to Astralin and to the great Empire of Antherion as a whole. Tonight, our citizens will sleep sound once again. Yay! So we got a little bit more experience. That's pretty pleasant. We're now almost level 3. <laughs> Which means we don't have to worry too much, but I, I'll probably go and rest or something. But, uh, yeah. No, look at that, folks. We've killed the butcher, we've done our first real quest, and, uh, now we're gonna move on and maybe take out the goblins in that cavern or something. Okay, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time on Antherion. Bye.